Welcome to this video on the second supporting indicator for the VPA 5.0 on TradingView. This indicator is called the Money Flow Index for the VPA or MM5 for VPA. Here we are using the standard Money Flow Index, but the way we are using is going to be unconventional. Before we proceed, uh, we will look at the formula for the money flow index. The money flow index is equal to 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus money flow ratio. Now, what is money flow ratio? Money flow ratio is the positive money flow divided by the negative money flow. For calculating the money flow or positive or negative, first we need to calculate the typical price, which is I plus low plus close divided by 3. Once we have the typical price, we multiply that with the volume to get the raw money flow. In order to get the positive money flow, we need to add the raw money flow for the days when the typical price is greater than the previous day. Similarly, for the negative money flow, we need to add all the raw money flow when the, on for the days when the typical price is lower than the previous day. So once we have the positive and negative money flow, we can calculate the money flow ratio and then the money flow index. The money flow index tells us whether the money flowing into the stock or the index is positive or negative or the, the, the real money is flowing into the stock or not. So uh, money flowing into the stock will drive the stock up and money flowing out of the stock will uh, push the prices down. Now here we are using a, a period of 22 that is a monthly average for calculation of the MFI. Then we calculate a signal line which is all also an average of 22 days. Now, if the MFI is greater than the signal line, the money flow is positive. And if the MFI is less than the signal line, the money flow is negative. The indicator also got a background which indicates the index strength. The short term strength is uh, calculated by having the 5 EMA greater than the 22 EMA. Similarly, if the 22 EMA is greater than the 60 EMA, the medium term strength is positive. And if the 60 EMA is greater than 130 EMA, the long term strength is positive. So, if the short term is strength is uh, positive, then we have a background color of light yellow. And if the medium is uh, positive, it has got a stronger uh, shade of yellow. And the long term has the strongest uh, shade of yellow. And if the uh, index strength is negative, that is if the 5 EMA is less than the 22 EMA, we have the background as bluish indicating bearishness. So we can read the money flow in, along with the index strength. Let us look at an example with a chart for the MFI. Here I have the chart of VPA 5.2 and with the typical template which is includes the VPA volume, RS for VPA and MFI for VPA. As you can notice here, the background color of the MFI changes in accordance with the strength of the index. You can see the change light yellow to a darker shade of yellow and then finally the darker shade of yellow indicating the long term strength coming in here. 
In this template, you can see when both the RS and the MFI are positive and with the volume chipping in, the bullishness when the stock comes in here. As you can see here, both are positive in the start uh, the stock prices have started going up here. Similarly, here also you can see both RS and MFI are positive. The stock prices started moving up here. And also we also look at the volume to see a further confirmation. So this MFI is a good add-on supporting indicator for the VPA 5.0. And one interesting aspect here is that most of the times the MFI or the money flow indicator is a leading in one reading indicator compared to the RS for VPA. We can see here the stock is still moving sideways here. And you can see the MFI has become positive, but RS is still in the negative territory. And once both are in the positive territory, the stock is moving up here. Here also you can see that the MFI has turned positive even when the stock is moving sideways. And when both MFI and RS, uh, RS for VP are positive, the stock uh, starts moving up. So, in other words, we can say MFI is leading the RS and it also indicates the money has started coming into the stock, giving us an advance notice that something is going to happen in the stock. And we can be prepared and wait till the other confirmatory indicators uh, are turning positive. So we can make proper entries with this uh, template. Look at another example. I have the chart of Inox Wind Limited here. As you can see, the MFA turned positive here, but the RS still was still negative. And once when both started turning positive, the start uh, started moving up. And when the volumes also chipped in, the movement was much higher here. One more interesting observation is that you can see the MFA is also leading in when the bearishness or the stock up move has stopped. As you can see here, as the stock moved up here, the RS is still positive. But you can see the MF already turned negative, indicating the money is uh, started flowing out of the market and then there was a little down move and it started moving sideways here and later RS turned negative here. The same thing can be observed here as well. You can see, let me move the chart down. There's a big upward move here and you have this UT1 bar indicating weakness here. Then the same time the MFA also has turned negative, showing that money is started flowing and it is increasingly flowing out, as you can see here. And then the RSA started drifting down here. But MFA already indicated that the money started going out and soon the up move will be terminated and then at least temporarily. This is what happened here. So in terms of uh, bullishness and even like end of an up move, the MFI is a leading indicator compared to the RS and gives us advance notice that money has stopped or started flowing out of the stock.
you can see that the second supporting indicator that is MFA or VPA is quite useful and it will give us an advance notice of when the start money starts flowing into the stock or out of the stock. And it is quite helpful in uh, using our VPA 5.0. Hope you found this uh, video useful uh, and thank you very much for watching the video.